a lovely day October the 2nd the sun is shining no chemtrails it's warm but it's gonna get colder just sat in our Rover P5 it's a series 3 so last of the P5s seems small yeah I remember when I was young this was considered uh, a large car it's got the 3 litre you can hear it in the background it purrs nicely smells like a Rover we've done quite a bit to this four new tyres, fresh tune up carburetor rebuild and clean replace the float arm, needle and seat fit to float, drop limit screw um, check the timing, replace the points new brake booster where we needed to fabricate a bracket new fuel filter, new condenser, new thermostat um, recondition the fuel pump adjust driver's door linkage new spark plugs, new oil filter, new oil new ignition coil new battery rebuilt the front brake calipers rebuilt the generator um, transmission fluid change so yeah we've we've done quite a lot to make this into uh, a decent driver it was a uh, a Victoria car for many many years uh, owned by a watchmaker who retired but continued and still continues to tinker with watches on one of the southern Gulf Islands it took us two ferries to go and get it uh, when we got there he increased the price by two thousand dollars needless to say I didn't buy a, a clock or a watch from him um, and it's been a labour of love in order to to get it where it is now and we've had um, quite a lot of help from Jim Walters who uh, works on, on old English cars and specialises in Bentley and Rolls Royce um, in fact he, he worked on my Bentley last month and um, I was very pleased with the results he's got our Daimler at the moment and he's always got um, a yard full of interesting vehicles. Uh, his company is Bristol Motors uh, in Mill Bay, which is, um, I'd say, half an hour above Victoria on Vancouver Island in BC. Uh, but Jim Walters, uh, you, you can't go wrong with that fellow. Uh, real nice guy. M machine shop, every, everything you need years of expertise and uh, even Jay Leno flew him down to one of Jay Leno's uh, facilities to work on one of his cars so we're privileged and honoured that Jim worked on our Rover and Bentley and Daimler and other old stuff that we've got but yeah this is good slabs of wood um, leather plastic Jaeger dials. I was I was expecting Smith's dials because that's what I've got in my old Land Rover. But Jaeger, hmm. yeah, just and today's the day we're putting it in storage. got a passerby complimenting the car that's a nice looking car I ignored him so I'll go and apologize for ignoring him in a second but um, yeah this is our Rover a lot of the basic tinkering to make it safe and uh, reliable has been done just needs to be enjoyed but um, today doesn't tell the whole story but um, we're about to put 
her and the probably the T4, T3 Atlantic that you can see over there into storage today. Um, we've put some other of, of our old classics into storage. So um, we just make sure everything's dry and uh, then we go mothball them for six months and bring them out to play in the spring. So uh, yeah, this is our Rover P5 Series 3.